I'm Sir Tap Tap, and let's play Daymare Cat. It's a game about having nightmares in the day about cats. So we can walk around here. Got a very interesting visual style. That's actually why I started playing this. Got a little girl who's got a very interesting method of walking. Got a box. It's got a symbol on it. We can jump. It's a platformy, puzzly kind of thing. But not very hard on. It's more puzzles than platforms. The p platforming is pretty minor. So you interact with objects with down, and then, oh, there's a elevator thing here, and you get up out of a pit. That's like a bicycle on it. We need a key to put in the organic stump thing with mushrooms growing out of the top. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. There's nothing to be found over here. I like the inkblot sun in the back of the ground there. Let's grab that key! There's that symbol again. And there's a boat symbol on the side of that thing. Alright, let's put that in the organic stump spire thing. That's kind of... Let's not talk about that again. Ooh, it's a cave. It's spooky and creepy. Do we want to go out here first? Oh, that looks like the right way. Let's go... That's not a door. Let's go to this door. The Victrola! Hooray! We can play some jaunty, lively tunes, old chaps. Uh, we need a record. Hmm. Well, let's look around. Oh, hey, we've got Mickey Mouse's pants on the uh, thing there. So that's odd. Whee! Head bonking fun. All right then. We can't get to that vinyl, but we'll the vinyl record. But we'll we'll try and get there. Giant bug. Hey, giant bug. Can we get on these platforms here? Sort of a weird transition there. Let's get on these platforms. Come on, girl. Let's jump on the... Oh. Hello, giant bug! Let's be friends. Okay, nothing nothing doing here. Let's carry on. Not, not sure what that's all about. We've got little things that do their little things. So that's, that's cool. Oh, there's that symbol again. That symbol. There's that symbol still. We've got a flag we can't really do anything with. We've got an elevator! We need a crank to operate the elevator. That seems like a very inefficient way to man an elevator. We've got another flag crazy thingy. Oh, and the platforms outside just turned up. That's probably why we couldn't climb them before. They weren't the right way. We've got a window like three-fourths of the way on the ceiling. That's... I'm sure that's up to code, buddy. That's just fine. Well, let's go have some platforming fun. Let's get that. That is probably our crank right there. If we would not fall off, we could get that crank up there. Let's do this. Come on, we can do this tap-tap. You did it! Excellent tap-tap. I knew I could believe in you. I kind of regretted it for a minute there, but you know what? We pulled through. So, put that crank in there. And we've got a record we can't reach. We've got that symbol. Mysterious symbol. We've got some pipes. That's cool. We've got a door. We've got some more platforms that are upside down. Well, just the one that's upside down. But we can't reach the one that isn't. Got a stupid cylinder thing here. We've got death! Well, there's no game overs, which is nice. Suspicious bricks! Yeah, nothing doing there. But suspicious bricks. Oh, yes. We can stand on them. Go in here. There's a mound that you can't do anything. We've got chandelier bicycles. Those are cool. We've got a door. You can go in that door. I have failed to realize that. Well, I try a couple of times, but you can't. I couldn't go in it. I'm not sure why. But we'll be that back later. Yes, this is a post commentary. Oh, I screwed up the original recording. So yeah, we've got a triangle thing. We got. Um, we're part of the Illuminati now. So, where did we see a triangle? Well, that doesn't matter. We got a record. Music time again. I hope you enjoy the music. It's very musical. It's like, yeah. It 
So yeah, there's obviously a number of records that we want to all get, and then we play bits of the music. And then, if past tap tap will go past the door... Look! There's music coming out of one of the pipes! So what we need to do is activate all of the Victrolas, and then that door opens, presumably. We uh, activated the uh, Triforce there on that pedestal, and now we can get up these. Now we have more platforming puzzles. Now we have more accidentally falling out of the screen. Back to the platforming puzzle. Not sure what puzzle really, it's just platforming. Not sure I called it a puzzle, I'm sorry. I let you all down. And I regret that. But let's see what we got over here. We've got a door. We need a female key. Male keys will not do. This door, it's a... Uh, it just doesn't it's it doesn't swing that way, I'm sorry. So we've got another record, so we can go play something. Um note, there's no real reason to put any of the records in until you have all of them, but you know, unless you're you know, just happen to be by one of the records. I really love the background in this place, in the inside the monster, because you can see that the stuff in front of you, like I really I, I really like that um I know it's not unique or anything, it's in lots of games like Limbo and old adventure games. But I always really like them, there's like something in the foreground, it's all like spooky and shadowy and stuff. So we've got another Victrola we may as well activate. We've got a umbrella hanging upside down attached to a bicycle or something. We've got that symbol again. That symbol. Yep, we got that first record we saw at the very beginning of the game, and then bouncy lifts! Never mind the rotating key. Don't don't bother to get that past tap tap. You don't need that. Yeah, there's absolutely no reason you would not want to get that. Nope. Not at all. So now is a brief period of screwing around before I actually find the uh, fifth thinger. thinger. Uh, record, yes. Yeah, I really like the the way it gives you bits of music, like, each time you put in a record it plays a new bit of the music, which is pretty cool. And once again, I pass up that room that I need to go into. New music time! I hope you enjoy the new music. Yeah, we, I keep trying to do things to that flag because of reasons. Then I... These things, they're just for show. Don't try to play with them, like I do. Only you can prevent forest fires. Not sure where I was going with that. So yeah, there's a period of just kind of wandering. But I then remember, back here, another Victrola! Fourth music, ding. So, we're gonna fall to our untimely demise and then promptly reanimate ourselves. We're gonna wander past these things. We're gonna enter that door. We're gonna not go in that door. We're gonna go in that door. Okay, so at this point I get a little lost. What you need to do is go down the gullet of that monster thing then go to the place with the floaty balloons that bounce you up and there'll be that rotatey female key I notified you of before and then you get that. Alright, now we're back to where we need to be. We grab the rotatey female key and we fall to our doom. Now we just kind of... yeah. I like that inkbot sun there. Like in it just looks pretty cool. Like, you can just barely tell it's the sun, but it's like, oh yeah, it's pretty neat. I really love the style of this game. I've said that at least once, but it deserves a reading. So now I find the final Victrola. And turns out I missed something. Um, from the door, with the musical things, go up and then go left. You can go into this door. I thought I tried that out when I first came through. I didn't. I wasted a few, couple of minutes looking for this again. So yeah, like I had trouble walking into it initially, but now now that I know it works, it doesn't give me any trouble. I don't know. 
I kind of like the zoom out effect we get here. You know, to give you the scale, you're not, you know, the, you know, it just shows, you know, whatever you need to see. It's neat. So we've got some suspicious gray bricks that, oh, surprisingly, we can stand on them. We've got a bell that makes a very wimpy sound. It's like, it's like sad. I feel sad for that bell. Gotta be honest. So yeah, we've got a demon thing. I was surprised to see this guy. And he like twitches. I was afraid we'd have to like do something to him, but no, he just kind of like roar. Yeah, like that. And you stand on him, but he doesn't really. He's pretty chill, so he's not gonna do anything. So yeah, back down past the wimpy bell. Now we have the final, the vinyl record. And we can go ahead and put that in the last Victrola, which is what we need the female key for. And we will be done! That's that inkblot sun again. Okay, I like how that there's that pipe. You can sort of see that that's how the music gets to that door with the pipes. It goes through that door, or through that pipe, up that thing, and then magically through the air or something, or through the ground, something or other, it ends up right here. So, now that we have all five song things done, the door dramatically opens, and, after a moment of tension, we will finally enter! Man, has anyone ever told you you walk like a bird? Slash velociraptor? I mean, it's pretty weird. No offense. The land of the lollipops! She's happy about this. She's like, wow, I always wanted to go to the land of the lollipops, so there's only like six of them. But still, I will wander around and have a creepy smile with my creepy hand. Hello, fairy godfather. You look nice mutton chops there. Hater's gonna hate! I'm just gonna run around on this football field as things fade, fade to white. And then an old hag in the desert was like, hey, I'm old. But then I was like, hey, look, I walk really weird. Have you seen anyone walk this weird? I mean, look at me. I'm looking into your eyes intently. Oh, you're a man. Excuse me, sir. Your hair is kind of odd. Thank you for playing Daymare Cat. Now you can download the song for free! Download the song. You can comment, and there's more Daymore question marks? So yeah, there's apparently more Daymore games. There's Daymore Town 1, Daymore Town 2, 3, there's Daymare Cat, which we just did, and there's Daymare Invaders, dun dun dun, and Daymore Kite. Yay, kites. See, I really like that game. Um, I might take a peek at the others. I'll hopefully get less lost. But yeah, that was pretty fun, and we'll see about taking a peek at the others. I don't know.